Hi everyone, in my previous video I had some theories about different kinds of uh, uh, SSG circuits and the efficiency of uh, they had. But uh, this time I will show you a combination of all the four uh, circuits into one with the three switches so that I can uh, easily switch between the different kinds of circuits and test their uh, test their efficiency experimentally and uh, this is the circuit and uh, there are three switches uh, which are uh, I think you call it, it's called a double throw isn't it and uh, I've already done some testing I'm not gonna show you uh, the testing because uh, this particular uh, setup that I have is uh, quite noisy and here is the circuit that I've been using uh, well I can just show you that it spins now it's now it's uh, in a standard SSG mode and here is the os oscilloscope and I can switch this, well, that's, I'm running out of this, this, uh, I get my voltage from here, there are two voltages, and uh, I'm putting the output in this capacitor, and I have uh, this uh, resistor bank to uh, tune the voltage, and uh, this is the voltage across the capacitor, and I can switch to go to generator mode like that and then the capacitor will rise and uh, the consumption will rise and, uh, and all sorts of things anyway but I made some testing and uh, this one is uh, sorted for uh, COP electrical COP we are take the power out divided by power in and uh, it appears that uh, the the mix mode that I call it has the highest uh, COP and uh, the standard the standard circuit has the lowest COP but if you're interested in uh, the work being done by the rotor if you want to attach generators or so uh, I have uh, made another calculation as well and uh, I have taken the, the square of the RPM divided by the difference in power in and power out and if I do that uh, the best value I get is in the standard circuit that we're used to. Uh, it's all quite interesting. Uh, maybe I will post uh, these listings somewhere. But I haven't done any thorough tweaking and I think there are loads of stuff that you can do to get better results. But uh, what I wanted to do was to do it the same way for each circuit. That was the main point. back to uh, the circuit. Uh, it, it was a little bit tricky uh, since since I had a capacitor here with, uh, with a bleeding resistor it was uh, quite tricky to tune it to make it work because uh, the drive the drive voltage is the difference in voltage across the battery and these two uh, batteries or should I say the capacitor and, and the power unit and since <laughs> when the voltage was rising here well then you got less voltage across here and uh, well it took a while to get it up and running but eventually so uh, well uh, this is the circuit and uh, it's quite interesting to uh, to test it thank you for watching